Hey, this is Saori from Korea Design. Um, I know it's been a while since the last YouTube video, um, but uh, I've decided to be active on YouTube. That's my new resolution for this year. So, um, just quick updates on the website. I've, I've been working on it and try to make it a little bit more, I guess, user friendly and, and a little more well designed. So. If you guys want to check it out and and I really like the design of it so check them out and uh, today I thought it would be interesting to do something totally new so I've been using illustrators in Photoshop for over how many years now I since 16 so it's been like what 20 over 22 years 23 years it's been a long time and it's I I'm very comfortable using it, so I thought it would be fun to just kind of show you the basic te techniques um, for you to kind of start getting to know how to use the Illustrator if you have it. So I put the down, uh, I'll put the link down below, but uh, you can actually use this or, um, Illustrator or Photoshop, whichever, for free for seven days, I think, and they have the free trial deal for the the people who never used it before. So if you want to sign up for that, you can easily sign up and you can easily download it on your computer and then start using it for free, seven days. So, and see, you know, you can, you can subscribe it after if you like it. It's only like $19.99 a month or something like that. Um, but it's, you know, it's up to you. You can like stop subscribing if it's not a program for you. But like I said, there's a reason why this Illustrator in Photoshop is so huge and it's one of the, I mean, it is the best this is the graphic designing program out there. So I hope you can make use of it. So today I thought it would be fun to make an invitation. I am going to show you how to make an invitation with this free graphic materials that you can just download it right away from your computer, uh, from the online. and. Um, you literally can make this invitation that you're looking at right now. The the unicorn one, I thought it would be fun to do this unicorn one since it's a big hit lately. Um, this, it took me like literally about 15 minutes, or 20 minutes tops. So, <clears throat> as you can see those graphics, that those little ones, those are available for free to download. Did you know that? It's pretty cool. So. I'll show you how to do it. So well, let's get started. The place you want to go is called freepick.com. Um, it's F-R-E-E-P-I-K.com. And you can also Google it. And it's it, it's usually comes up. And then it has the little icon right here this is this is it and I also I, t I put the link below so you can you don't have to like search it through so um, I used the two materials for this tutorials so one the gold glitter this is just a photo this is an image and this is is um, called vector um, file which it's basically you can expand it or shrink it without losing its quality and if you have a party of color theme with like blue, then you can easily change those colors to blues. Um, so all you can do, all you have to do is just click this and download the two these files that I use for this tutorial tutorials. And I have already done that. So for this one, the, this one <clears throat> comes with the file. Um, or folder, I'm sorry, that comes with a folder with a bunch of different types of files. You notice that .aps and .jpeg and .ai. So the AI stands for the Adobe Illustrator. So you want to open this one. So when you unzip it, just go ahead and drag it over or you can just click it and double click it. That's, it might take a while. There you go. So this is what you get. Once you open it, the next step is to make a new file. This is file new and just title it unicorn. So what I'm doing is to make, uh, we're, we're making 
a um, artboard to make exact size you need for making an invitation, invitation size. So under here, you maybe customize a custom and go inches. And a typical standard one is seven by four. Uh, I'm sorry, seven by five. Uh, which one is it? Seven. And the height, oh sorry, the width is five inch. And the height is seven. Some of you guys probably just don't see advanced. You click on advanced and this is color mode. CMYK is basically for a printing um, project. And uh, RGB is for something that you would um, want to share for the computer usage um, later on. So I'll show you that too. Okay, let's hit it. Okay, and you have this um, artboard for your invitation size. So the next thing you would do is go back to this clip art. And, and the first thing you would notice, that even if you click anything and you even try to like obtain this individual um, artworks so you, you cannot do it unless you go to this button it says release clipping mask and say uh, release clipping mask let's do this oh there you go you can just keep doing the release release clipping mask and you eventually get this you can ungroup it with a background so there you go that's how you get and access to uh, each of the arts, the clip arts that you want to use. Okay, so for this tutorial, I want to, for the invitation, I want to keep this color so it's really cute. So, um, okay, I did it too fast. So, I want to keep this one. So, this one, you would copy it, command C, copy it, or you can do edit and copy. And you can go ahead and go to the invitation art board and either you go edit and paste or you can just do it with a command V. It'll be easier if you remember the um, short cut key. And if you want to change the color, you can do whatever you want to do. And so the next step is to bring this little cute unicorn over there. So let's see, just kind of bring this over here. And I've noticed that when I um, um, clipped it, it kind of, it, everything kind of gets ungrouped. So I want to make sure that every little pieces that this unicorn has, I want it to be all attached to it. So. Um, I'm going to go Command and G, or you can go Object and Group, and make sure you group everything, so that way when you move it, it comes with it, right? So this time again, Command C, Copy, and go back there, and then go Command V, here it is. So, let's do, so the next step is to kind of scale it. When you scale it, make sure to hold shift when you scale this. So that way it has the same ratio, um, the height and the width. If you don't hold the shift, then it goes like this and it just kind of like loses the whole art quality. So, And now I have this adorable unicorn in the middle. So it's time for me to type all these words and again I put the link to all the fonts that I use so you can download these and use it if you want to um, let's first try to do this magical time that has a glitter effect to it just type magical time and it doesn't have to be fancy right now but just kind of Make sure to hold the shift when you enlarge them. And this one, for this one, I used the King Basil. This is an amazing font. And this is, um, a, um, you can download for free. And now, I want it to carve a little bit. So what you do is go up there and it has a make envelope. So click it and Preview so you can see what it will look like. 
you can just kind of see um, how much it bends. So I wanted to make it arch, so I'm making an arch right here now. And just 18 is fine. And if you are not satisfied with this, look up, uh, with this, you can go ahead and go back there and bend a little bit more. As long as I have this um, square with the um, arch, the guide line to it, then you can always go back there and, and change it. But when you're satisfied with this, uh, when you're our uh, step to add the glitter effect, then you would have to go object and expand and, and confirm this um, change to the text so that it would turn into a shape, a confirmed shape. Now you cannot go back and um, change. So now, but you need to make this as a compound path. If without doing this for some reason, you can't um, apply the, the effect or text effect to the, to the text. So make sure to make it compound path. And it's not gonna do anything, it's fine. So now, bring, <clears throat> bring up the glitter picture and it just seemed to be really really big so you're gonna have to shrink a little bit and make sure that it fits in the size and then you're just gonna go bring it over here and when you do this you need to make sure this text is on top of the, the image so just click it and arrange and bring to front. And now, pick one, uh, pick, pick the text and pick, and shift and pick the um, background. You need to um, select both of the items, both of the, or elements, and go right click and it says make clipping mask. So if you hit it, ta-da, it adds the, glitter effect not crazy so and then the next step is to add a text um i guess those this part right here and what you can do is you say join us so this one i used ca ca caviar dreams i believe this one's also available for free, I think. So I will put that link down below too. And um, I wanted to make the space between the text is just too condensed. So I wanted to do, I, I did 300. And that's good. Looks good. So, it's really up to you what color you want to do, but I wanted to make it look like it has the gold effect to it. What you want to do is go to the left top part where the color is. And you can go to this little icon that says swatch library menu and go down to a metal. You can kind of play around with it, but um, I used this color. The color close to the gold so let's just fill up all the gap okay so everything's placed and now you want to I'll tell you how to make this line you can sp skip this part if you know already but you can um, on the right side, it says line segment tool. Just click one and uh, hold shift and then just drag it over down here, wherever you wanna have the line. And then when, you, uh, when you're done, you go ahead and go in the, deck, on the down and it says click the stroke and then place the color. Ta-da. You can do the same same way or you can just copy and paste and then you could just bring it down here and <clears throat> mm -mm. 
I wanted to also put a little line here so that it would indicate a one to four. The part is one to four. So I'm just, I just copy and pasted the same line and I'm just gonna shape it to the very, very small like this and then I'm just gonna put it, place it in the middle. You can do a little bit more smaller. There you go. That's how you added the text. And this is the fun part. The last part is you go back there and just pick whatever you want to use and make sure to just kind of, because I noticed that if you're using this file, um, the inside color and the outside color, the outline is, um, for some reason, it's not grouped together. So just make sure to um, group it and place it on everywhere you want. Okay, so a little bit different designs from the last time, but it really it's really up to you. So you can add more, go crazy, or you can add less. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorials and I hope it made sense. Um you know there's a website that lets you use someone else's work for free and those those works are just stunning and amazing. Those are professionally made. So um it would definitely help you I hope this helped and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorials. Um, just announcement that we are, we have free SVG files for uh, whoever has quick, quick cut or um, cameo silhouette. Every SVG cut that we have is free. If you go kaliadesign.com, you can see all of them and they're free for personal use 100% and uh, only three dollars per bundle um, for commercial use so for uh, whoever has like it's a shop that sells uh, cups with uh, decals on it and you know you were more more than welcome to bro browse around we have like a, we have a, a really good deal to get two commercial lessons so and get one for free and stuff um, so check them out and we are adding lots lots and lots more on um, DIY craft articles from now on and we are also um, gonna share how we um, actually are doing really successful in this blogging <clears throat> business. I have started this um, last year's 2017 around around I think it was October, September around that area, around that season. I've never been happier and this is amazing business opportunities and I can work from home and I am making very good income. So I thought it would be fun and, and helpful for you guys to kind of read what I did and what what you can do as a crafter and, and a blogger, craft craft a blogger, <laughs> as, um, and to make extra income off of your own blogs. So uh, we are actually writing so many articles about how to promote your blogs and how to start blogs and all kinds of good stuff. So make sure to subscribe. The email address is we we send out weekly notification for all of the and articles we posted. Also the free SVG files that we uh, constantly update on a weekly basis. So hope and we are going to be active on Instagram. I swear. And then also we are active on Pinterest as well. And we reached 15k on um, Facebook likes. Thank you very much for everybody. So um, stay tuned and um, we'll be back again with another tutorial movies. Okay, thank you very much.